Pay attention to the promptings in your heart. This is another way God speaks to you. Sometimes you will just be prompted to do something or not do something, to say something or not say something. Pay attention to those promptings. Sometimes those promptings are a warning. And I want to give you an example because it just happened to my husband the other day. He took a truckload of stuff to the dump. It's about a 50 minute drive from our house with his truck that he really only drives for truck purposes, like, you know, hauling stuff, picking up stuff. And maybe about a year ago, it, one time we were out estate sailing, picking up something, you know, like a piece of furniture with the truck and it wouldn't start. And there was a problem with the starter, but my husband got that fixed. So that was probably, I wanted to give you that, like a, a pre-story. Well, my husband, this was like a year later and the truck was just fine. He was at the dump and he had this feeling, this prompting in his heart that he shouldn't turn the truck off, but he didn't pay attention to it. He thought the truck was, has been fine for a year. I don't know where this thought came from, right? And he turned the truck off. Well, lo and behold, the truck would not start. And he actually had to get a tow truck to pick it up and it is currently in the shop. And we'll find out what is wrong with it. But you see, if he would have paid attention to that prompting in his heart not to stop the truck while he was dumping his load, he could have made it back home instead of having a tow truck, you know, tow him 50, well, however, however many miles that is, 50 minutes. So just pay attention to those promptings in your heart. That is another huge way that God speaks to us. And yes, it could be a warning. He warns us so that we don't fall into the traps of the enemy. And I'm telling you, the enemy sets traps for us on a daily basis. And, and you know you have fallen into them when, you, when you're just living a life of fear and full of anxiety and worries. You know daily you are falling in, into the enemy's traps. So again, pay attention. Talk to God throughout the day. Get used to hearing and feeling him inside of you. Walk with him daily. And if you if you haven't started, if you say, I, I, I haven't experienced this, start now. Talk to the Holy Spirit. Say, Holy Spirit, help me to be a, to be sensitive to your voice inside of me, to your thoughts in my mind, to your promptings in my heart. Teach me. Hold my hand and walk me through this. That's what he did with me. And a huge, huge help to me, a game changer for, for me. I mentioned this often because it was so important in my life. Is when I took the Bible study, Four Keys to Hearing God's Voice. It is a powerful study. It, 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 it just teaches you to be sensitive, you know, to, to God's voice. And we can hear from him. He still speaks today. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He spoke then, he'll, he still speaks today. Yes, he speaks in his word, but his word is not his only, like his word tells us many things, but it does not tell us who to marry, who, you know, what church to go to, where to live, what house to buy. You know, he, it, do, it doesn't tell us those things. The Holy Spirit inside us will. Also, the Bible on its surface, it's just surface, so anybody can read it. But you know, he only, he, he take him, even the devil, the devil knows he can quote the scripture, but he doesn't know the deep things of God because only those that meditate on his word and allow the Holy Spirit to take us deeper into those truths, the Holy Spirit still speaks to you today. And he has, he wants to be your teacher. He wants to be your leader. He wants you, to, he wants to guide you safely through your time on earth. He wants to warn you of the enemy's traps. He wants to correct you when you need correction. Pay attention to the promptings in your heart.